you know, you, college football has changed a lot since yeah. you were uh, the head coach at, at, at Fordham. It's changed a lot since you were the head coach at Mississippi State, yeah. right? I mean, it's a completely different ball game. Uh, with NIL, with the portal, with even some of the rules on offense have yeah. changed. Uh, what what's been the the biggest adjustment for you as you've you know now in year three at Akron you've had to ch- adjust I mean I'm guessing it's been the NIL and the yeah. portal right how have you kind of adapted to that yeah it, it's it's a challenge from a program building standpoint you know when you came out and you know obviously you know incredibly highly touted and you went to Penn State and there were a group of twenty to twenty five guys that were you know your class and you you formed an identity and a chemistry with those guys and. You know, for better or worse, you, you were with those guys for four or five years. And, uh, you know, that day and age has, has since passed. And, you know, here we still try to keep the foundational uh, aspect of the program alive relative to recruiting high school players. Yeah. But, I mean, for us, it's free agency without the money. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we split the class in half. We say we want to take half high school guys and half JUCO or portals. But it's uh, it's incredibly transient. Um but most, most, uh, the most difficult aspect is, is is building a program with so many people in and out yeah. on a yearly basis. Um, I, I know, I know how smart you are, and that you, and so I'm curious to ask if you have thought of a solution for college football right now, and if if there's anything off the top of your mind where you're like, this kind of, this is what would make this sport even better moving forward. <sighs> Hopefully I'm smart, but I'm definitely not that smart. <laughs> I think that was above, above my above my pay grade. But I I don't in the current model. I mean, I just don't see how the um, there's a demarcation right now, right? Yeah. There's the, there's the major Power Five schools who are going to get their twenty million a year mm-hmm. and be able to uh, you know bankroll the team. Yeah. In addition to the you know third party collectives. Yeah. And then there's the people below that. Yeah. And some of those are Power Five teams, and then there's everyone else. So uh, t- to me, at a certain point, there's going to be a split. And, and yeah. I'm not saying that based off of any information. I'm saying that based off of opinion. But there's going to be the schools that can afford to, you know, pay that type of money and make that investment and, and the people who can't. And, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think that's, you know, eventually what we're going to see in college yeah. football. How have you, as you built the roster at, at, at Akron, and you just mentioned some of like, you know, splitting it between JUCO and all that yeah. stuff. How have you kind of, I feel like one of the hard things to balance is that you have to win. You have to try to win right now, right? And a lot of times is Juco and the portal. But you also, at the same time, have to have a a roster that can win in four years. And you got to figure out how to have leaders on your team. Like that balance of of the two has to be one of the most challenging parts of your job, right? It's tricky. Yeah. Um, You know, when when we accepted this job, I knew we were, it was, (laughs) it was going to be a, 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 uh, I mean, we took over the worst college football program yeah. in, in the country that had won three games in three years. So we knew that the turnaround wasn't going to be immediate, although we hoped that would be the case. So it's, it's I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It's the juxtaposition of yeah. wanting to win immediately because that's the, the nature of college football, mm-hmm. that we live in a, an instant gratification society. But at the same time, you know, having a foundation upon which you can build. So to me, that's the that's the trick that everyone wants you to win right away. Uh but to do that, you know, you gotta you gotta have the players, you gotta have the culture, and that that's probably the, the challenging part too. Is you're trying to establish a culture of, you know, discipline, accountability, work ethic, attention to detail, selflessness, and then it's yeah. like an etch a sketch. You, you draw the picture, <laughs> and then and yeah. then that December you got to shake it up and draw a new yeah. one. 